Hi all, welcome to the series of STM32 F407 driver development. As a part of the series, today I'm going to start driver development for GPIO ports. Okay, in my previous video, I already explained you uh, what are the different types of buses and what are the base addresses of every bus and what are the base addresses of every peripheral. If you didn't watch that video, I'll give you that video link in description as well as in iCards. You can go and watch. Okay, see here, now I'm going to start driver development for STM32 GPIO ports. For that, I opened my created project. This project I created in the last class. Now, I'm going to create one more folder for holding all the driver code. For that, I'm going to click on project file name and give right click, go to new, select folder and give here folder name. I'm going to give the folder name as drivers. Okay, and click on finish. Here, see on every folder in this project, like INC, SRC, startup, you can uh, observe an icon, C icon. Okay, but on driver folder, there is no such kind of C icon. That means every folder is already included in build system, but this newly created folder is not included in the SRM32 build system. It's our responsibility to include our folder in the build system, then only our code will build. Otherwise, uh, we can't build our code. So, I'm going to click on this one, go to properties, and here, see, there is one option that is uh, exclude resource from build. You have to uncheck this one and click on apply, click on apply and close. Now, see, you can find that C icon on this drivers also. Now, I'm going to create first header file which can hold all the device specific information. Device specific information is nothing but, you know, uh, for every GPIO port for every uh, bus address, I mean for every bus or for every peripheral, there is one address, okay, allocated to every peripheral. That address is constant and unique, okay. So, such kind of information is stored, I mean is present in that device specific header file. So, before going to create any driver, first you have to write the device specific header file for that chip. So, I'm going to create one header file and I'm giving the name as stm32f407xx.h. This is the device specific header file where we are going to write everything regarding stm32f407 board. So, clicking on finish. Okay, see here that header file is created. Now, my first responsibility is first I have to declare all the base address of buses. Because every peripheral is connected to the bus only. Once I declare the buses, then I can use the particular peripheral. So, now I am going to open the register, I mean the reference manual. Here you can come to memory map. Here see, all the buses are there. Now, first I am going to declare the base address of AHB1 bus. Here see, the base address of AHB1 bus is 0 cross 4002. 0, 0, 0, 0. Now I'm going to define this base address in my project. So I'm defining this base address as a macro. I'm giving the name as a AHB1 base address and giving the address and giving U. There U is nothing but unsigned. Okay. Now I'm going to define AHB2 base address. Okay. AHB2 base address. Okay. Now, what is AHB2 base address? Go to reference manual and check here. AHB2. Where is AHB2? Yes, here. AHB2 starts here. Okay. Now, copy it and go to the IDE and paste here. Okay. Now, similarly, wait. Similarly, do for other things. Uh, wait, let me. Okay. Once if you do for other things, you will get this kind of structure. Okay. Here, see, I already declared uh, base address for HB1, HB2, HB3, APB1 and APB2. Now, I am going to declare the base addresses of GPIO ports because I am going to program GPIO ports. So, here, I am defining the base address for GPIO, GPIO A base address. 
first let's see what is the base address of GPIO A. There are many GPIOs. I'm gonna start with GPIO A. Here, see, this is a GPIO A. Uh, you can program up to GPIO K. Okay, GPIO A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So, sorry, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Now, see, the base address of GPIO A is 0 cross 4002 0000. Or you can write this GPIO A is connected to HB1 bus. So, you can write the base address of GPIO A is nothing but base address of HB1 bus. Okay. So, I am going to write like this. Here, see, GPIO A base address is nothing but AHB1 base address uh, plus what is offset address here? Check the offset. This is the offset. Okay. 0 cross 0000. zero, zero, zero. Now, I am going to paste here. 0 cross wait. 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. Now, I am closing everything within parenthesis and giving U. Okay. Now, see, similarly, I am going to define the base address for GPIO B. Right here, GPIO B base address. Here, see, GPIO B. Where GPIO B is connected here? See, GPIO B is connected at this particular offset address. So, I am going to copy this one. Here, see, this GPIO B also connected to the HB1 bus only. That's why I am simply copying this offset address, not entire address. Here, see. Uh, it is also connected to HB1 base address and here I am giving the offset address. Okay, this is the offset address. Okay, similarly, you complete for remaining uh, peripherals that is a uh, GPIO C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K and in next video, I, I will show you how, uh, how to create a registered definition structure and uh, how to write the prototypes for different operations in GPIO driver. Okay, that's about this video. I hope you understand how to declare the base address of uh, uh, different uh, buses and how to declare the base address of the peripherals connected to that bus like uh, GPIO ports. And that's about this video. If you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and uh, hit the bell icon also and click on the like button. Now, I'm going to give the a reference manual link and uh, this code also in description you can take it thank you thank you for watching this video see you in the next video